your boy, mechanical son, the one you know. If you see this happening on your battery, this is the start of a bad thing. The start of possible terminal corrosion, not possible, definitely terminal corrosion. And the, the tied on scrap is also starting to corrode. The only treatment for this is because of the terminal gassing. The seal of the terminal is now releasing gases causing corrosion. Is to do a battery terminal service using a dielectric style pad that sits on the bottom of the terminal that prevents that uh, corrosive gases from reaching the actual terminal material and coating it with a protective spray and tacking electrolyte level um, is a service that we do for batteries. It's worth it because some of these batteries that I've done this service to have lasted well over 60, 70,000 miles with the same battery that looked like it was gonna fail, but with a service was able to do that type mileage. So this is my method of doing it. Um, just um, put it on, allow it to soak. Then I got a simple baking soda water mix here. We're gonna spray it into the um, piggy mat for absorb all pad. This stuff is highly corrosive, so we don't want it going onto the frame. So this is why I clean in this manner right onto the absorb oil pad and that will contain the battery acid from the frame and you repeat this process until the battery is nice and clean on the top so repeat we're going to add a little bit of the cleaner to all the surfaces that are showing signs of corrosion this is what the terminal looks like with just one um, cleaning pass. Remember it was nice and fuzzy. We're also going to have to disconnect each terminal and clean the green crusties out of each terminal. Step two, we got the terminals removed and we're going to clean the posts. See all that corrosion on the post there? Of both battery terminals. And we're also going to clean the post and battery terminals, but I'm just trying to give you a close up on that corrosion. This will leave you on the road. So the back message for cleaning this is just to hit it with a with a metal rod like this. Gently, you're not trying to damage it. But as you can see, all the green crusties fall in there. That's what we're trying to extract from the terminal. Some people would say replace it, but this can be serviced with time and care. This is what the terminal looks like after a little bit of scraping and cleaning. Using a scraping tool like this. All we're doing is knocking the corrosion off and using the, the cleaner after cleaning with the baking soda water mix to wash away or to clean and again the stuff is highly corrosive so you don't want it on the frame that's why we're using the piggy mats second pass cleaning up a little bit as you can see but we still got some corrosion all the way at the bottom here and we're working on next Here's a look at the same terminal after servicing. So as you can see, it's nice and shiny copper now. Still need a little work in the inside, but
but most of the contact point to the terminal is clean. So we're gonna coat this with a protective uh, spray, clean both terminals. and reassemble with the pads, with the degas pads installed over the terminals, the posts, terminal posts. So these are the terminal service. We still have to coat them, but everything is clean up the corrosion. So here we go. We got a positive and negative um, protection pad that comes in the kit. This is supposed to stop the battery gases from affecting the terminals. I sprayed a little bit with the battery terminal protector. Also notice the terminal that we already cleaned and serviced. Nice and shiny material. We're gonna reassemble and I'll show you what the completed battery service looks like. So here's what the completed battery service looks like. So this is a proven method for anybody out there that cares to know. I've had cars come back years later and it manages to keep the corrosion at bay from the positive and negative uh, terminal uh, post gassing. The coating that you see is supposed to protect anything that is starting to show signs of um, corrosion, prolongs the life a little bit longer. Notice there's no more um, acid all over the frame or the fuse box. A lot of people do services like this and they don't put any type of absorb wall mats down before they start cleaning the battery. If you see a frame that's starting to change color that looks all rusty, it's because someone did a service like this uh, canister. Someone did a service and didn't put down the proper uh, absorb wall pads to prevent chassis rusting. 